the Puntlan region doesn't like this shit, and they said they're going to uh, declare independence soon. Interesting, interesting. Um, now, nah, this uh, definitely... <laughs> Even when I heard the news, right, about the, the democracy stuff, I was like, okay, okay, this is very progressive. And uh, I'm just like, this, this is how it should be, man. Because 4.5 system, for example, it just doesn't make sense in a modern day. Everyone no, in their local doesn't. government has to be represented. I'll give you an example. You know, in Kenya, right, the marginalized yeah. communities used to get less money uh, in yeah. the local government, right? So they, yeah. they, 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 they removed the federal thing and it made it, again, every region gets a certain amount of money based on you know a lot of factors but the issue is a lot of these marginalized tribes the leaders are corrupt so they just kept stealing the money if you look at south b right now do you know how many somalis own buildings there i thought it was hardworking people it turns out it was people from mandera and those yeah. places just putting money and building up their own wealth instead of building their own communities and towns i found that kind of cr crazy that they're doing that no, because uh, their communities and towns are corrupt. You can't do business in, in those communities. It's tribal. So it's easier mm -hmm. for them to do uh, a business in the capital where they can just bribe the officials and, and do whatever they want. You, you see what I'm saying? Because Kenya, Kenya is a good country, but still very, very corrupt. If you have money, you can do anything in Kenya. Oh, yeah. You know? So I heard that earlier the Nigerian brother was like, uh, I don't want to go to Kenya because they don't believe in uh, brother brother stuff. That's true. They don't. Kenya money rules in Kenya. It's all about money. It's not about um, you black brother. No, no, none of that bullshit works in Kenya, bro. Kenya Musungu can do whatever they want because they got the money. Like, exactly. People. Hey, I, I, I gotta call you back, but I'm busy. Hold on. Is that true, Mr. Kaiser? That you guys love money, like Nigeria? Okay. You're not saying they anything. Love, they love money like us. <laughs> like Nigeria too. And I now understand why my KF female friends wants to go out with me. He's <laughs> saying that I will do everything you want. See, huh? Everything. Yeah. You see, uh, uh, Mr. Trump, you see that guy yeah. that drive, uh, this guy now. Here comes the boring. Drive Judith. No, no, no. You know that what he does that um I'm begging him to come back. He doesn't want to reply me. Understand? So I'm begging him now, just for him to come back, cause I'm, uh, cause I'm chatting with him. I know he's listening to me, mm -hmm. and again that uh, he have, he have, he have read my text. He have seen my text. I told him please come back. Mm -hmm. At least he's going to come back now. He's, he just saw my text, so he's, he's, he's coming. So that's just it. One thing is that uh, you do have to understand that some, sometimes we Nigerians we have this uh, that proud. Like where I went to the other day, I was seeing Nigerians. They were speaking uh, other dialects, which I understand more, and I speak that same dialect. I just pretend as if I didn't understand them. They're not very that, was in, that was in Belgium. So when they didn't notice I was, I'm Nigerian, they started speaking pigeon English. So it was just fun. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so in Kenya, okay. like, let me just put it there. Yeah, Nigerians do catch a bit of um issues in terms of you know uh there was um there's some ritual killings of some young girls here people thought it was nigerian even even though i defended nigerians and the police actually did the investigation turned out the nigerians were not involved uh things like that nigerians just get some flack but nobody attacks nigerians this is not south africa yeah your life is not a danger we're not we're not we're not uncivilized like other africans you know we, we welcome don't back <laughs> Guys, oh, hold on, guys, oh, hold on. Nigerian friends, you say it, it is boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, you, you, oh, so, you, so I'm the one that makes things, you know. Uh... And, uh, yeah. Happy, happy to, like... to hear you smiling. I'm happy to hear you. You saw, you saw how I left, everything became boring, right? Not, not that boring, not that boring. What the Nigerians are. We are proud of ourselves. We are proud, even though even you was saying, man, the pursuit Judas, everything got bought. <laughs> you know what is just that you are loud? That's the only thing. You're just loud like in Nigeria too. You have the Nigerian blood in you. I know that you are from Nigeria. You have no, I, I did not. I did not actually run away. My my battery, my phone died down. So. so. Ah, uh, Judy, Judy. That's no, of course, of course. You know, That's and I'm preparing to go to work. You know, so. you, know, you, know, you know, I'm declaring my love for you. No, I'm not again. I'm not about brisky. I don't declare that I like you. That's it. So nothing else. 
send me send me ten thousand uh, dollars in my in my account and then they, they, and then we they, can they, they, they kept this, this like and everything because you know we africans we our one is different to government because oh, you see, you don't laugh. Fall <laughs> in america <laughs> Kidola, someone <laughs> just mentioned uh, Kaiser just mentioned you. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Be careful because it's, all this is now in America now. We don't know who's who anymore there now. You know, so. Kidola, did you see, Kidola, did you see the video in Ghana where, where Ghanians were licking on Jarul feet? Oh, Bob, oh, Bob, is that become if Ghanans are professional beggars now, I don't understand anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That, that foreigners are coming to build school for Ghanaians. Build you know school I mean? for Ghana. I mean, huh? common schools. Ah! School. And and the person you are looking at is, as, is even involved in societies in America now. You know, things are running around there. Eh? You know, you understand? So, I think you don't understand. This Ghana Yoff is on. What is going on with Ghana year of return? You understand me? What is going on? Kidola, every you know? celebrity now must go to Ghana to 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 do something, then come back to United States. I don't know, man. To give, yeah, to give pencil, to give pencil and pen. That's what you're doing. To give pencil, to give pencil and pen. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. God is bigger than that, man. You know, I don't understand. Really, really. <laughs> Jaru was like the big president him. Look, Judah, Recross came to Nigeria. Recross came to Nigeria, right? When Recross yeah. came to Nigeria, I swear to God that the Nigeria, Nigeria didn't know what to do with him. Yeah? yeah? He was pissed. Yeah, he came to Nigeria. You know, he, was, he wanted to move different, but the Bonner boy didn't see him. Uh, other guys didn't really come to see him. So they took him to those guys, called them Obikuban, and the Obikuban couldn't know what to talk to him, no? Because it's not in their feet. <laughs> they, they were just looking at him. So, so, so they gave him to the Hollywood guys to be talking to. When the guy came back to America, he was pissed. You know, it was very, very so, 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 so if, if he, he will have gone to Ghana, they will have been licking his whole skin. Oh! Oh, don't you see when we went there? When they were present, I don't forget what his name. You know, the two of uh, the two of the the two of the other guy. You understand me? What is his name again? You know, is it McMill? You understand? McMill, Jaru, Jaru you just know? went there. McMill went there. It seems like the other you see, because yeah. of black Americans. Eh? You see, uh, Judah, it, it's, you know what they're pushing this uh, LGBT to, to Africa? You know why? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Because most black Americans are, are on that down low. A lot of them are on that down low. And they find it that because black Americans are like uh, uh, down low, they not think Africans are like that. You understand me? Now, now know why. Eh, okay. They could see that their superstars are, are gay. Even when they don't say it publicly, but they could see a lot of them are gay. You understand me? They could just say, okay, if this was are gay here, yeah. Africans would definitely accept gay because they are like they came out, you know, they came out of Africa. That's why they become intensifying it. And years back, their secret service already, already discovered that most black American superstars are gay. You understand me? If not all self, you understand me. So now now see what they were pushing into Ghana. And Ghana have to be gay, Ghana have to be gay. Ghana said, I cannot be gay. No, no, you have to be gay, just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, so 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 year of return, year of return is a perfect example to make a lot of these black Americans, you know, uh gonna to be gay. You know what I mean? That's, that's why I was that. telling that that's why I was telling someone that Ghana, the things that is happening in Ghana will soon spread to other African countries. That's why I was telling uh, 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 somebody that. ECOWAS need to fasten their laws. You cannot just because everybody is in ECOWAS and then they go do their individual stuff and then when it comes into that country, they kind of move around into other countries. It makes no sense. They have to be one policy 
in the ECOWAS that governs all the country, you know. Oh, but people brother. are just having new way into other into other countries, and then they kind of move into Togo, Benin, Nigeria, and say, "Oh, because uh, uh, I'm ECOWAS." I'm like, "What? It, ma it makes no sense." But brother, <laughs> Togo, Cameroon, Nigeria—they're not working with the latter. They'll trust that thing too because right now, the whole thing now, the the center of that thing, they're all going to Ghana now. You understand me? They're all going to Ghana now. And they'll work on it because they'll build a school for them, uh, two two rooms, two rooms, uh, classroom. Yeah. Uh, come with pen, yeah. How come pen, that guy has school? never built a school? How come he has never built a school in America, Jahu? Yeah, you want to go build yeah. it in Ghana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because because there are people, there are people sponsoring them. The people that put skirt in their body, you know, people that made their wear skirt in America, they are not the one that sponsoring them to uh, to Ghana now. Before you know, before you know, they will use money to entice Ghana a lot. Before you know, Ghana will just become the other thing, you know, behind the back. Oh, yeah, no problem. Ooh, Rebo, you know. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we are fed. We are fed nearly, nearly the other side of Africa. You understand me? Mm -hmm. fed because the truth of the matter is, the people they are measuring, if you will be surprised, eh? These people, are you to dance for their music? These are the total. These are what they are secretly. But when they start bringing videos, people with wig, eh? They don't just want to measure their name. They, the, their main man inside, into that hip hop, were wearing wig. Say, man, this, you don't see the way I look like. You know, so it does why you see when you accept something in your community, even when you try to deny publicly, oh, we know that, we know like that. I mean, and I believe a lot of them they are. You can't change, you cannot change it. You see, Bob Brisky then is in jail now for six months. You understand me? They oh, use yeah? one way to yeah, they catch him. Six months. Way, they said you no know, by the time you come out, eh, we realize that uh, they ask him, Are you a man or a woman? They say I'm a man, sir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he said, I'm a master. <laughs> Bobrisky, they say Bobrisky is abusing the dialogue. That's what they, they caught him with. You're sorry, dot or that because Idali was playing around the edge. Now there's all oh, you're supposed to just to humiliate. They take him to court and said, because Bobrisky said nobody can touch him. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, six months. You know, if by the time they put him with these guys, eh? In that <laughs> in that they go toast down, they go toast down well. <laughs> they ask him, yeah, be, be shitty. That is the whole, they go there and shit, they'll be looking at him. The way they would beat him up, eh? <laughs> They would beat him out of him, eh? Man. You see, this is, uh, Africans are not yet there yet. We don't know nothing about this thing they try to bring. Read that with the truth. Africans are not there yet at all. You understand? Oh, my brother, do a party. If you see when they start bringing party, party alone, eh, they are swimming pool. You start thinking, so these guys are not really the way I thought they were. They were looking cool. So these are real guys. Man, these are just the one. If you go to YouTube, you see one guy was shouting, and that guy went to Ghana. He was shouting when the other superstar were, were punching the whole thing in the says. He was shouting. Uh -huh. Yeah, the one that went to Ghana, the Ghana people were licking his ass. Right? The one, you see, they all, yeah. run away from, they all run away from this comment. That when that become, they become uh, that thing. Uh, see, they run away. Before they just, oh, yeah, you people will lick our feet. Now they, they took off now. The truth of the matter is, you see that guy that went to Ghana? That guy that went to Ghana the first time they were licking his ass before, ja before this guy went? There's a mm -hmm. video in YouTube where that one was screaming. Their master, their master were, were, were knocking him there. <laughs> you <Yes, yes. laughs> me? Their master were knocking him there. Straight up. The guy was screaming. That guy that went to Ghana, that Ghana took to their presidential parliament. You know something? That would make him move it there. Don't just mention Yo. his name. Yeah, me, nah. me. Oh, yeah. Me you me. Then their master inside was knocking out on Nyash there. They was he was screaming. Well, there's a video clip on YouTube. They brought a lot of that. Their master were even wearing wig. 
Yeah, because 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 they went on they went on 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 videos on YouTube. They trying to compare me, me in the past with now. He kind of look kind of feminine now than where he was before. My my brother, my brother a lot of this are cooking. Man. Mm -hmm. they, say, they say they say him and G, they say him and Didi have something in common. All of. All of them. All even them. The he was he was in jail. He was in jail, right, for like five years or what? Yeah, I think he was jail for some time. And you know, even the one that thought that come out and say, oh, "I'm a gangster, I'm a gangster, I'm I'm thin, I'm blood or whatever they call yourself, the game. Also, the name was also featured also. The game. Huh? You gotta say, yeah, now that I'm a gangster, the blood, cream, that they ain't no shit. You know, so that when they come to this YouTube, they make all kind of noise. We live like this. Man, motherfucker, how do you live? Come on, bend that, bend, bend that over there and, and start. Yeah, bend that and start. Be on the dead. Come collect your papa, take and go and beg. You know, 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 Judah, you know, bend, uh, be on your this and start taking that lollipop over there. How do you, how do you live? You understand me? Be on your this. Yes, I mean, that's what is what. But that, that, that's 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 what makes them popular, Abi. Hey, that because they come to this street, they say we live like this, we like this, we like that, we like this, we like this, we like that, we like that. At the end of the day, they all come in and I say, oh, who, 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 you know, this big mama in house. You understand me? Whoa, I thought, oh, yo, man, I thought you were, I thought you were do dog, you know, oh no, man. <laughs> <laughs> just play around <laughs> cool, bro. Hey, that shit, you know what I'm saying what, I, I can be lucid at the time that, that was really bad, man. I'm a lucid now but you got a problem with that my man oh no man I thought you were good yeah, man. in fact yeah. you're black Americans if you're in the chat listening right we allow you to be on this platform send a fat super chat now or we'll block all black Americans and stop them from turning us gay <laughs> 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 No, no. <laughs> come on, defend. Come on, come on, defend. What kind, of, what kind of food are you guys eating, man? Is that that thing that that's turning your head to be something else or what? What's going on? You know, come on, explain yourself. What's turning your head? Like? Kidola, Kidola, we we known each other for like how long, man? On YouTube for street. For you, for years, you know, Wakanda, that's what was about that. That's about exactly. Oh yeah, for five years, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. long time, man. A lot of so 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 Judas so so you see the all run and that means it taking off. It's on the flight. Exactly, that means it taking off. Exactly, taking off. Everybody yeah, taking off, man. I'm that like, man. On his way down to 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 Caribbean to chill out out of to digest what is going on with FBA and the US. <laughs> you know, you don't know what is going on anymore? Because things are turning around now. Come on, show yourself. Come oh. Leave. Wakanda, man. I mean, it's almost like, five, yeah, man. That was like 2016, man. So, yeah, yes. 2017. Yeah, Wakanda, that Wakanda, what, the Wakanda woman. <laughs> yeah. Wakanda See, woman the reason so why, the reason why, why we, we have money on the panel, man. Uh, he he tries to hear money or use money to control. Go ahead, go ahead. We have, we have a black kid. Yo, uh, Jude, on, yo, Jude, don't listen to, don't listen to Kedola, man. Nigerians, they're going to be kissing our feet next. You heard? Oh 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 oh! Hold on, hold on, don't listen to him. Yeah. Oh no, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. You can go. Okay. Defend yourself. Come you know, you know. If you imagine there'll be like some people. There, hey, Jah, Jah. There'll be some Igbo man say, "Hey, my name is Eleboko. I found an ice black American man. He treats me so good. Come, let us make us a team. Let us make us a team." Oh, With that Nigerian oh, accent, yeah. that strong oh, accent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. just to call him chief. <laughs> yeah, you see, you, you already seen how uh, Kai Sano, he went over there. They was, they rolled out the red carpet for him, you know. So, yeah, just get ready, Kidola. I hope, uh, I hope we're gonna we're gonna take over Banana Island. No, I hope he's not looking at some people there because I know when he come out of that bus, <laughs> shake it down first. You know, he shake it down. Look, look at me, hey, look at me, look Kidola. At me. You know, like you know, he was leading, he was leaving his legs to be leaked by guys in Ghana. That was crazy, man. That was weird to me. I'm like, that what the mean, heck? Nah, I didn't honestly, I didn't see that, part, but that's crazy. Honestly, oh, that's crazy. That, yeah, that but, is, come on. What, what do you think, man? I said, I said, look, look. By the time we'll be in that hotel, the Ghana's put them over there. 
by eight o'clock, nine o'clock, he will, he will be, you know, he will be on wig right now. Say, hey, no, I'm Zongo, not, hey. Zongo has to come and defend his people, man. There's a lot of things that is happening in Ghana. I mean, those guys, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, on the social media that they post this stuff, even Kamoya was like, but why are Ghanaians? I mean, just yeah, I mean, they were acting yeah, all. Thank you for pencil, you know, pencil and pen. Jude, Jude, did you notice know that Zongo doesn't come on uh, the, the panel on this platform? You know why? Because I went hard on the Ghanaians and their scams. I, I cooked these niggas, man. I made some boiled egg out of them, man. Oh, really? Oh. I was like, I haven't heard from Zongo for a while. <laughs> yeah, the the of them. Ghanaians are bigger scammers than Nigerians. They just hide it. Zongo used to be on here, man. I was like, what happened to Zongo? Like, I haven't heard him for... Man, that's crazy. Wow, Kaizo. I had to cook those Ghanaians, man. Like, and, the, and, and the uncooked raw eggs, man. And a little shit, too. How are you going to call food shit? Oh. Hey, go, these people are crazy. <laughs> They're scammer number one. Wow. Where in Africa or in Europe? <laughs> Every, everywhere, these guys scam. They pretend to be Nigerians. You know, do you know how many Ghanaians I know in Kenya who scammed? And they're like, I'm Nigerian. I ask which tribe. They, then they say Ashanti. You're like, bro, I, I, at least fake the fake properly, man. These guys are scammers. I said it before. I said a long time ago. Wow. Even, even, your Kaiser, even Afroscope tried to scam me one time. And I thought he was like the nicest Ghanaian I ever met in my life. But that's. <laughs> Bro, Aproscope was out here <laughs> getting money from Juju for months. This guy is out here making no huh? content, begging for money, telling you, oh, I need a hospital. Never, <laughs> this guy's a scammer, man. Right? But, At least I'm a real scammer. I say, send me money and I'll make a show. You see, that's good scamming. These niggas out here doing no work. So most of these things that they say is Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. So Ghanaian are, Ghanaian are claiming Nigerians. My brother, Bro, even my, my sister brother, married a Ghanaian. Judy, I had to make sure Judy, that this Judy, guy was, was not a scammer. Judy. You the early this year, I think they sentenced one lady, one like popular lady in Ghana in UK for fraud and uh, this thing. Oh fraud. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That they are that are so called actress. Yeah, some of their superstar, their celebrity. Yeah, you understand? Wow. You know, she was the arrested celebrity. in the UK and uh, she's she sentenced to jail. Oh yeah, you know this is Aquaba. I've sent her like, hello Aquaba. What is deep inside this aqua bomb? This year of return, just, <laughs> just looking for money. See, you know, see, yeah. see, it's better to say, Come, come, we are looking for your money, but don't that when they build the house, you will destroy it. Even with this guy building the house 10 years, they'll see go and destroy it. You understand me? It's a, it's a way of niceness, but way of also hitting you in the back, also. I swear to God. Most black Americans that build their houses in Nigeria, one first of all, in Nigeria, you just assimilate into a particular area. You understand me? Once you just assimilate there, that's all finished. If you buy houses in some of these big cities, nobody's coming to touch your house. Nobody will have that time for you, sir. So why are they touching the house in Ghana? Man, I really don't know. I really, you cannot take, you can, look, you don't play to people's emotions and drag them in. And you now I now understand why these big, big buildings are in Ghana. You know why? Ghana people are like the middlemen of this business. That's what I now found out. Because, my man, what happened to these people? Bad as it could be, welcome back home, both of return. Then there's a problem with that so called Pan African village that that chief, job, you know, the chief just danced into that trap also say, oh, yeah, yeah, I have a land for free. There's no land for free. Now there's a case. There was over. there was a land that Bomani was advertising with his with his group one time about uh, uh, uh what is it this Marcos Gave uh, the town center or whatever, man, <laughs> and that never came to the limelight. No, I, I don't man, know if Ganyan man. took the money and edited. Hey, Judy, Judy, yeah, but do you hey, remember but I thought, one guy that time on Bomani on was the, based uh, in uh, not that was Ah, what uh, what's his name? Ah, that stole people's money. Uh, oh yeah, I know, I know. I know that guy. He went to the Caribbean. Yes, he went to the Caribbean. What's his name? Oh, um, he you talk about that banker. Again. Yeah, banker. that guy that took money from people. Yeah, that. Yep. Is that guy two almost about a billion or two billion or something like that? Yep. Yeah. Well, if I remember the name, I will make sure the guy. Ah. You know, the true matter is, Black America came to Ghana. Born a lot. Olu Major. Olu Major. Oh, Olu Major. 
Yeah, no, 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 to Dinah say, do not never link me to that guy anymore. <laughs> Dinah did not want to stain his record. Yeah, but he was he was coming, was bashing a lot of uh, nonsense out of his mouth. But man, that guy. So we was trying to talk about now. Jaru came to build about they said six block of uh, six room of uh, school classroom. Uh, yep. I understand who is coming next. Might be I don't understand. Yeah, Lumi, so mm -hmm. what is that? Or some of these guys might be coming, but man, what is going on? That country have a government, they have everything. How long? How much is that? How much are they taking from these guys? You understand me? Look even, at that. Even me, even me myself, I can build a school in my own country. I mean, how come it gotta be Jahu to go to Africa and build it? Uh, or man, Ghana? Let's say Ghana. Man. Mm. Everything kind of like to do it because, like because uh, he's if a celebrity. Look, they want they look. want that notoriety, bro. They, he's a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? He got influence. Yeah, but look, yeah, okay, okay. Jabby, that's crazy, Ja. That's man. Look, look, my brother. Look, this guy came to Nigeria called that streamer called uh Car something. You know, Cardi B. The, the, the guy that is a streamer. Pass the guy now, look, pass now or something. Yeah, the guy came to oh. Nigeria, right? The guy was being received by some of these uh, content creators in Nigeria. He was tough. They gave him the energy. Uh, everything he was looking for. But when he came to Ghana, government officials went to welcome that guy <laughs> with yeah? all kind of entourage. You understand me? All kind yes, of... Yes, yes, you are right. You know, for me, I'm like, what oh. this guy, a streamer, a YouTuber streamer, have to do with oh. government officials, tourism board? I, what is going on? This guy came to Nigeria... Like you're not going to be well, who's who's he, who is he talking about? You're talking about, hey, you're talking about Kai Sanat? That's who you're talking about? The, yeah. The streamer? Yeah, that guy. That guy came to Ghana, man. The, the, they used to own government cars, entourage, government this, government that. It was look, looking very, very cold of reception. But when the guy came to Nigeria, sorry, content creator, pick him up. I think he saw Davido. Davido borrowed him his, um, his uh, mail badge, you know. That was just so the David asked me not to go to some certain areas, you know. To advise the big, very careful. Don't go to certain areas, you know. There you must see something. Yeah, else. but he went. Didn't he go to? He went to Makoko and he bought like a school in Makoko or something like that. Or he was funding some school material for the for the kids. In Makoko, yeah, he did that because those guys took him there. You know that those guys just took him there, but it was not under any government. Because the government don't even know. Man, that country is too big. Who is this guy? Maybe somebody. Uh, came in and everything. Then he, he met Davido. That is the highest he could go. You know, okay, David is one of the. He's very, very Listen, rich. Listen, no, if you're talking about Kai Sena, he's kind of like a uh, you um, streaming phenomenon right now. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of young people, they look to him. A lot of young people. Yeah, that's what, they said, like they, that's what I said. But Nigeria, young guys, the younger ones, they kind of they like. Love him. They love him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh. What uh, what Kidola mean is that allow the like the youth or the people he came came to see to mingle with instead of involving government officials oh, yeah, true, true. yeah that's what I said. but when it came to ghana it was yeah. government because, officials. Yeah, because these people right they don't they don't represent us on a political level or you know they don't represent yeah us that's what i'm saying level. you know we should just keep Nigeria it government, the cultural. Nigeria government don't know you they don't know I like the youth see, to see, they, they even took him to British school and everything. He did his thing there. But Nigeria government, look, they, they're not they have a lot of people. Who are you? They, they don't need you for anything. You understand? You know, hey, they don't need if, you if, for you, if you're willing to spend some your, your American dollars to, to fund some schools, some materials and stuff, that's that's cool. That's good. I, it, I don't see it, it's, it's, it's good because those guys that he came to mm, that he was with. He, Cause he was looking for ghetto. He was looking for a very rough area. It's okay. There's a place. Say really, we, okay, what kind of place? Let me spend some money there. Would the people really appreciate it? Look, but, Nigeria uh, will show you. Look, uh, uh, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. Nigeria will show you real love. Our love are not. Nah, I see it. Oh, oh, during the, the during the Kaisenot, um stream, he was getting a lot of love, bro. They renamed. Yeah, Nigeria them, will show you. Love. Nigeria will show you real love. And what not he's like, doing, what he's doing is, is promoting a lot of Black Americans to, to want to go to Nigeria. And yeah, like that. that's, that's what I'm saying. Thing. Nigeria will show you real love. They're not going to 
should. Yeah, so but all that, all that kissing feet, bro. Some, yo, bro. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna That's smack a shit out of them, bro. Look, my bro. Let me tell you one thing, my bro. Let me just tell you one thing. I was in like in a shopping mall. I understand, bro. You know that the Kedja shopping mall. I was in a Kedja shopping mall. Hey. I packed a car. I packed my car. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Kezo, someone want to uh come in? Please allow the person to. See, see, I was in a Kedja shopping mall. It says in the CBD. It might be Caesar. Okay. I, I was in a, I was in a, a, a Kedja shopping mall. This is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. People think, right? I was in a Kedja shopping mall. I just came back from United States about say five months. I then I just brought my Q, uh, Q fifty six at that time. You understand me? Then all the clothes I bought from United States. From the sneakers to the stockings to the neck to to everything to my shoulder, everything was just black and black. Then I came out of the car, you know, I swung. The guy look, this young boy look at me. He said, "Man, he said, man, bros, 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 man, I want to tell you something, man, bros." He said, "Man, I go hold past you." Eh? I look at the guy. I say, "Eh?" He said, "Bros, I go hold past you. Man, I like your way, man. I like your way, but I go hold past you." In broken, me to say in real English. That he will be rich, that he will be richer than me. But he like my style, but he will be richer than me. I look at him, I like, oh yeah, man, I want that, I want that. In Brooklyn, I want that. You understand me? You know, so Nigerian people they don't fake nothing, they'll tell you straight the way the way it is, the way it is. They no sugar coat anything. You understand me? I look at that small boy, I laugh, you know. Then I put my hand in my pocket, I gave him some money. He accepted it, but you can see he accepted it with pride. You know, <laughs> like, okay, okay, boy. I can see that, you know. But to be honest, just to be honest, we don't sugarcoat love for anybody. If we don't like, we tell you we don't like you. We can throw a lot, but we don't sugarcoat any. Even when this guy came to Nigeria, Nigeria people couldn't know what to do with him, really. Rick Cross came to Nigeria. They didn't know what to do with him. Because the banner boy was not around to meet him. The video was not around to meet him. It's not like them. Uh, this guy, uh, 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 that big star in America. What's his name again? Uh, Chris Brown. And all this Nigeria like some of all these guys, like uh, Little Baby and all these guys. You understand the, the, the celebrities, yeah. Yeah, some of these celebrities, not all, but some of them, like Little mm -hmm. Baby and some of these guys, Chris yeah. Brown and everything. But Recross, they didn't know what to really do with Recross. You understand? So they were looking mm -hmm. at Recross like, okay, 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 you're welcome. You know, they don't know what to do to him. The Recross was very, very pissed. So some Nigerian guys have to organize some Nollywood guests to meet him. They just chat and talk. I just saw. But we're going to lick your feet for what? We like a lot of, yeah, we love a lot of black American celebrities. Don't get me wrong. We, we Chris Brown is very, very popular in Nigeria. Little Baby is very, very popular. Some of all these new young guys, rappers, are very popular there. They love these guys like hell. You understand? But Rick Cross is above, they don't know what to do. To yeah. Do this Idola, all, you know? Idola, I get what you're saying, Idola. yeah. Idola. The reason why Chris Brown is popular is that he was the first, let's say, first or second American celebrity, black celebrity, to actually key into Afrobeat. You understand me? Yeah, like he embraced yeah. the, the culture mm -hmm. on time. And that's true, that's true. It just shows that he has a good ear, listening mm -hmm. ear for music. For music, so, yeah. Yeah, that's why a lot of people. Sure. Like so they are popular. Yeah, Rick Ross, among, Rick Ross hasn't. I, I haven't heard like an Applebee's type of sound which, from Rick Ross or anything like that. So, they are popular yeah, among people. I think we should specify they are popular with this uh, young, you know, maybe the younger. young people, of course, not older people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Brown is very popular with uh, these younger guys in Nigeria. This more, this boys of 18, 19, they, they, well, they, you know, they, 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 yeah, they follow me. Yes. You, you know, they like the music a lot. For Chris Brown, I think also he, you know he invest is invested in knowing the Nigerian music culture, the culture. Yeah, so that's that's what that's what UFC just said. Yeah. Even if you look at the music collaborations he has done, you mm -hmm. find out that it's not just some shallow, uh, you know, collaboration. He's no, kind no, of no. invested in speaking even the language. Yeah, somehow, yeah, yeah. You know. So yeah, I think he has collaborated a lot. I think he's the he has done the highest collaboration with. Um, Highest number of collaborations with Nigerian, like I think he did with Whiskey with uh, you know, all these people. The video, yeah, the video, the video, the video, they're almost like brothers now because they're yeah. doing yeah. it every time, you know. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it's not like the Nigerian, like the video, he grew up in America too, so 
you know, he has a lot of, he grew up in uh, what Atlanta and Georgia and stuff like that. So they do have that. Not, not, no, he was born there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think I think naturally that guy's a very nice guy. Chris Brown naturally is a very nice guy. Yeah, yeah they like yeah. they like the baby also a lot also in Nigeria. These young boys that are that are crazy. They they, they follow some of these guys. Yeah, they like, they like the, uh, uh, little baby. Little yeah, you know, you know and and like, and certain guys yeah. like little baby, right? Certain guys like little baby that come from like the hood. You get what I'm saying? Come from the trenches. He's not gonna go for none of that gay LGBTQ shit. No, no, no. That's what I'm talking that. about. That you know, people like them puffy. No, now you know, these yeah. boys don't know. People like the puffy or not the mm -hmm. nah man recruit them. No, 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 my this, brother. Man. Well, I think most of you, for me, I'm not in the U.S. right now, but uh, I'm familiar with that area. But I think most of us are kind of uh, not understanding that most of these guys do not choose. In fact, almost all of them do not choose to go. There. It's part of their, it's part of their, you know, kind of, uh, you know, deal, I guess. Because uh, if you look at, if you look at the whole thing, it seems like, um, I don't know if you watched this interview of, uh, what's the name of that man? Uh, Cat Williams on uh, Club Sheshe. Did you, uh, did, has anyone watched that interview? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the guy really said a lot of things and he said one of the biggest uh, blessings he has is that you know, this fire has come in Hollywood, he's still able to protect his, uh, you understand, the other side, he has nothing as uh, gone in there. <laughs> the backside? <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, but I think so, you gotta, you got to understand a lot of Black Americans, right? We grew up very conservative. We grew up with traditional values, and we come we come from the church. You get what I'm saying? Like to me, this LGBTQ is a new phenomenon. You get what I'm saying? And it's being pushed through mainstream media, mainstream music, and stuff. And it's yeah, an agenda. Yeah. I, I feel that's like it's an agenda. Thing. It's uh, an agenda. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. it's important. Sorry, that's why but, it's important. But Black yeah. Americans, we historically have always been anti-LGBTQ. Always, see, always. See, see, see. The truth is that even if it is push, is that the Black have just gone run with it and gone crazy with it. So that's that is even the problem. No, no they're no, hiding no, it. No, no, no. no. I think I think that's what oh. we're seeing because of the, because of the media. But on the ground, mainstream and in, in, in the ground where. That shit is not allowed. That shit is not accepted exactly. on that level. You know what I'm saying? Not, uh, not as you Kim, think. Kim Bayer, you sometimes, see. Sometimes thing, we got to learn to uh, separate um, social media yeah, from reality. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, yeah, I was right. going to say this. I was going to say this. You see, um, um, the black people in general, I think it's in our nature to be, uh, you know, so we to, are kind of this kind of thing. It's in our nature to produce and multiply. <laughs> yeah, 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 it, yeah, no, 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 no. It's in our nature to be kind of uh, very much out there socially. Like, you know, we have this arts kind of life where we are allowed to express ourselves in an artistic way. So it's easier for, uh, for them to push a lot of this agenda through black culture. Do you understand? It's not, it's not, it's not actually part of black culture. It's not called black culture at all. But it's easier for them to enter into that black culture and try to push it because you're talking about black people being uh, uh, what some of them black celebrities being that. But I'm, I can tell you for a fact that this thing is ten times or even twenty times more in other uh, kind of uh, ethnicities, you know. So of course, yeah. it's just that black. It's just that it's just like black people are more expressive, and because of we are in arts, we are in music, we are in entertainment, and. So, so so it and, it, and it looks, another thing I wanted to add is that a lot of these celebrities they want to they want to uh, in order for them to to stay popular they have to get with all these different um you know um, philosophies and stuff like that so they have to they they do they do the LGBTQ thing the celebrities to stay in the limelight to stay you know relevant you get what I'm saying so it's not a mainstream thing I think and another aspect of it is that you know we don't control the narrative really. Like a lot of these um, producers and stuff, uh, stuff like that. A lot of them are small hats. They're Jewish people. You know what I'm saying? And they promote this, this kind of, they they promote this aspect of us, and it's it doesn't really reflect the people on the ground, really. But but see, when they think what happened is, look, what the white Americans believe if they can convince the black Americans. The Africans will be easily to convince also. That's just the truth. 
That was just the truth. So what they yeah, did was well, it's, it's a part of America's foreign policy. They that's yeah. That's so they what they did, so what they did, they try to use us as the face to 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 push yeah, their agenda yeah, into yeah, Africa. Yeah, because, because exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. They try yeah. to use black people as the face, but black people yeah. are not yeah. the perpetrators, and they are not the even. They don't even do it as much. It's actually on ground, like the brother said, on yeah, ground. You will find out if that you check, if you check, if you check what they did. Because of some of these celebrities, these superstars, when these superstars started connecting with some of these African um, guys also, they were throwing some certain things there, and they started using Black American superstars by giving a sketch to wear, doing some certain things. What well, next? Look, they have causes somewhere in the continent that have this kind of thinking like them, they're conservative like them, if, if we can use these people, we can also go towards their superstars also, bring the media towards them, then let them convince the Africans in the continent. That's what they were trying to do. But the, the, it's not, it can't cause the politics, because the Africans are the one in power. So they're not going to allow that to fly like that, you understand? No, so, well, they're already, no, they're already they, there. They're already there in the uh, in the major in major African entertainment scenes, especially musically. You can already see their, you can already see their footprint, and I I hate to admit it because we all we are also proud of our Afro beats and. Uh, Mm. Hey, but don't don't think that some of your mainstream your mainstream artists like Devito and Burner Boy don't think that they, they might be doing some gay stuff behind closed doors too. You never know, <laughs> you never know bro. You, you, you don't even these, need these them, people, they're, you they're don't... all in Hollywood now. They're they like if I go in my car and listen to the radio, I'm gonna hear Burner Boy and Devito. You know what I'm saying? So these people are getting pushed for a reason. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. not gonna push people that are that are maintaining cultural man, values. They don't man, want you to, just, they don't you want just, us to maintain our cultural lost. values. You, you just bring the worst fear out of me because I was, I'm like, okay, these guys, this this this, this top African. Uh, uh, look, look, look at this. Uh, I, I, I seen pictures. I seen pictures with Burner Boy and P Diddy, and it doesn't look good. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> <laughs> you never, you never know, if you man. Want to, if you want to understand the weave, they are. But we, I think we should look. We should learn to separate the celebrities from the. All right, all right. You know if you want to, if you want to know if they are being infiltrated or not, you have to look at. The, the kind the, the record labels that they are signed to and who is the mod the mother record labels not just their subsidiaries that they have in Africa like so when you look at all that then you know why for example Bonner Boy is signed to Atlantic Records isn't it that's the same record ah uh, yeah so know? most likely he might be taking it taking it up the, no, the no, other way no I, I'm not I'm not actually <laughs> going towards that area of uh, because you know we can't say things that we are not sure yeah, of, speculation, right speculation speculation yeah yeah but, but you just need to understand that if you're talking about influence what I'm trying to point out is the influence of these mega record labels or corporations from uh, you know the Inter, interscope uh, 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 they are already they are already in africa they are already in uh, 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 so, so, sorry yeah but uh, the head of the head of these organizations are, they're not even black Kumbaya, you know what i'm saying Kumbaya, Kumbaya. if you observe bona boy's team his team is his family members the mother and two sisters. Bro, you can't sit here and defend the celebrities. Oh, you don't no, know what no, no, doing behind closed no, door for no, money. No, 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 no. Are, don't you, ask. are you seriously you talking can't... about his team being his family members, brother? Yeah, they are. The no, mom... you, you, his family oh, members no. are, are besides him, but that's definitely not all his team he, members. The, uh, the, the mother is the manager. The two sisters are, uh, are the, I think they, uh, the, when he's going for concert, they they produce the, the the show, so they are highly highly involved. The family members, I don't think uh, such a thing. Will happen. <laughs> that, that's your sentiment from. But I'm not. I like Bonaboy. I'm actually a big fan of Bonaboy because for some of what because what I don't like is that when ev when black person succeed and become successful, does that always mean that they did something bad? We have to look at their. They are crass that's, and their talent. That's, that's that's shallow because we, every, no one is talking about their craft and and, and their talent. I think everybody that should be the focus. I don't care. If everybody, we, yeah, everybody we know knows. we know that they're talented. They're, which is they're, they're 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 like, so what we are doing here, we are speculating and assuming. Relax. No, but, right. but, Listen, uh, no straight uh, person uh, is gonna. Uh, say man, but, 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 don't get me wrong. I see. I still love this guy's music. Oh yeah, they can be anything they want to be. But I still like some puffy musics. 
I still love um I don't like make me too much, you know. I don't really like no, no, I'm like, not a fan of those guys. I like coffee music, I like coffee music, I like Jay-Z music. Yes, I like some of all these guys. Let's just let's just be let's just be honest, bro. We can say as we want to say it. Without without these guys in the states, you know, I can throw a lot in this, uh, I can throw a lot, but without these guys in the states, man, I think we have to be honest. There's some love as a brotherly. Uh, relationship sh uh, share with, with, in the real life with some of these uh, American superstars with these African superstars. That's just the truth. We yeah. tell these guys, man, look, mm. all these guys, these African superstars are very, very rich nowadays. They have a lot of money. You know okay. why? Because they could they could collaborate with this, uh, with this, their causes. Chris in, Browns, all you know, people. United States. Let's just be mm. honest, bro. I can ah. throw a lot here. You know, you I have agree, uh, yeah, yeah, you I throw a lot. But just be honest, I man. Think, I love, you know, I, I love Black Americans. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, okay, see, thank you, I'm Kendola. Thank you, I, you I know, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, man. These guys are, these guys are, they, they, they're good. They, they brought, with them, with them alone, these people like them, Davido, Whiskey, all these guys, man, they could easily penetrate. The United States, that, even with that's, that's what I'm telling you, that, guys. That that you don't, you know, you know, that's what I'm telling you, guys. I love him. I love Puffy. I'm not going to, you that's, know, I love Puffy a lot. He's a nice guy. You know, no matter what I'm saying, what is going on, man, he's still a brother, man. I love the guy. Let's not be honest. What, that's why I'm saying that we shouldn't look at this artist no. that much. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm saying we shouldn't look so much at these people neglecting the main. You know, the record labels, you see this mega record label, even this DD case now, if you trace it, I don't know if you've heard that uh, they've discovered like some of the main players in the whole thing, which is like universal music and all that. So you need to understand that the main people that you should be looking out if you see anything wrong is their bosses because those are the ones telling them what to do. That's the bro, the people. small hats, bro, the Jewish people, bro. Like, I'm not afraid their boss, That's what I'm saying. Okay, can I say something? See. Calm down. Let me land my point, please. Like you, see, like you see, the brother saying saying something about um uh, uh what's his name uh Bonaboy's uh, parents and his bro his sisters and all that. That is that is okay, but those people have no significant uh, impact on how he you know on how he portrays himself. To be honest, they can manage people on ground. Oh, don't maybe local people want to come around. Local people they can manage all that. But when you're talking about the real, you know, the real content is supposed to put out there and how it's supposed to move, it has nothing to do with his mother or his sisters. Okay, let so me. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of Bonaboy. I've been listening to him even before he became famous, uh, since 2000 and uh, let's say uh, 12. That's when I first start, you know, hearing him. The guy is a real artist. It's not like these guys that people that you know can just come out and anybody can just give you a song. Bonaboy makes music real music that's a real talented guy if you know him if you've been following him so but uh, the truth has to be said that we need to also look at who they are signed to and who but, are no, the, no, no. See, what you, you know. guys want most of nigerian artists they sign distribution deal the american label don't produce their music no they don't they produce most of their music in nigeria they, their contract is to for this big record label to distribute their music. So when at when uh, this record label sign you and give you money up front, that's where the problem lies. That's the that's the that's the bad but, side. But, of but I'm sure you know they gave Bonaboy money up front, right? No, they they, they didn't because well, Bonaboy well, has well, a that, me, on. Let me, me let me explain. Well, that's Bonaboy, false, because Bonaboy said it. Bonaboy Bonaboy said it no, 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 he didn't say anything. Okay, go do your Bonaboy research. Bonaboy has signed a distribution deal. He has a record label called Spaceship. That's his own record have, label. He did have his own, even McMill, you guys are talking about, has his own record label. His distribution deal that they all sign. Don't make it a Nigerian See, thing. Distribution Everybody deal. Everybody signs distribution deal. David, so don't sign distribution deal. deal. Of course. All of then, the, 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 that, involve, okay, all. Hold on. that means it involves money, it involves money, it's business. You don't, you don't so, need any of those music yeah. companies to, 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 to produce your music. You can even okay, produce okay. your music I, in I your house. 
does that so mm -hmm. what what we are trying to say now is that for this record label to for you to sign distribution deal with them you, might, you must hold on problem. now hold yeah, on yeah. you must you must be slept with first is that the criteria is that we no, are i never mentioned any, i never mentioned whether sleeping or gay or anything i didn't mention any of that you want or lgd okay so, what, so like, what's the narrative i'm only telling you about no this that's why you need to open your mind i used to be open-minded and understand everything we are saying I, I am. Don't, I am. Don't, don't try to narrow it down to one point or something. We are just making uh, kind of. We are talking about the influence of uh, external hands. You know that that directs how we perceive these people. So my own. I'm talking generally. It doesn't have to be even about the you know their sexual preferences. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Um, uh, what is it called? Like for example, the lyrics. For example, what they are promoting. For example, the lifestyle everything together yeah. that's what i'm talking about so you, you need to you understand know. that you're saying you're saying Bonner boy did not take any money that's what i'm saying we should not argue blindly go let and me, do hold on. let me land first hold on hold Bonner on. boy once tweeted no that he has the listen listen brother Bonner boy okay, okay, let me give you what hold on, hold on hold on i want to say something david though first of all signed a, a record deal with i think sony they wanted him to make music in a certain way it didn't work. What happened? He left and returned back to Nigeria and renegotiate that deal. The only then they now decided to sign distribution. He makes music on his own capacity. Those people they don't involve in how he produces music because they, most of them, most of the owner of this record label, they don't understand the culture. You can't say that for sure. So you're making your own. Uh, yes, he did. He dropped. Right? Hold on. He dropped an album in this cell. He didn't do anything because he was trying to sound like uh, America. It didn't work. Well, M maybe what I'm saying is that everything we are saying. Is yeah, but hey, but um, Nigerian first, you do know that Davido signed to multiple record labels, so he's signed to his own music label. Now, just telling he's, you he's about also signed to Sony Music. Um, if you go on records. a recent interview, he even said it, and it was true. He dropped an album and then walk. It was a flop. Because of what? Because the label tried to tell him what to do, and it didn't work. Okay, if you he said yeah, that himself, yes, he said it even recently. Uh, even back then, we all noticed that he didn't uh, like that album. But, but that's the same, that's my point you're making. I'm saying that there's a lot of influence, and that's exactly what you just and confirmed. Uh, that's why I said, I'm telling you, it's not going to work in, in Africa setting kind of music because what they tell you to do is not going to fly here. So, are you saying that it's working for someone like Tyler, for example? The, the new South African girl, because she's definitely singing some American grade R and B, and it's not going to work with, with some, some Afrobeat. But she's already won the Grammy, so what are you no, talking no, about? See, see, he won a Grammy on a single, on a single, not album. No, it doesn't matter. Winning a Grammy, that's the point. Yes, of course. Bonner Boy win Grammy, so it doesn't mean anything. So what I'm trying to say is that let's watch if it's going to work, because. What we normally listen to it is either Afrobeat or Ama Piano. If she decides to change how she makes her music, then there will be a, a, a backlash. She well, didn't change be... how she has always made her music. In fact, nowadays is when she just started adding um, some Afrobeat kind of uh, uh, beats, uh, the beatings or sounds or what. But she, just, uh, she has always, she has always been like an R and B, R and B. Um, Pop, you know, kind of. Well, who are you talking yeah. about? You talking about Thames? Tyler. Oh, Tyler. 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 Okay, okay. Oh, we are we have been listening to her for for a while. No, oh, no, no. In fact, no, no. I actually just went and did uh, some research on her music. I listened to her old music. She's, and a, new, she's a new artist, right? No, no, no. She's been there singing uh, in South Africa, like until she decided to cross over to sign that deal. Once you oh. sign that deal. And you need to know who she signed to, Sony. Do you know the influence Sony has? Of course, so I know. Need to... Sony is massive. Those are the people that Michael Jackson fought uh, nearly uh, all his life, you know? So you need to understand who she signed to. So that's why I'm telling you that all these things, uh, as well as... My, my, my brother, Fuse, Fuse is with Dr. Dre. As I'm... This morning, Fuse is with Dr. Dre. 
you know, Fuse is working with Dr. Dre at this time with the Mosha. You know, so a lot of these Nigerian guys, you think, but my brother, they're all working with these guys. You see, look, real life and this YouTube is a total different sport. Yeah, just, yeah I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, troll in the YouTube or whatever mm. is different. But the true matter is, as I'm talking to Fuse, that guy called Fuse is with Dr. Dre. That guy said, uh, something, uh, for like that for the night too. Oh, right. Fuse, Fuse, uh, Fuse. Yeah, Fuse, yeah, Fuse, yeah, Fuse with, yeah. with Dr. Dre. You know, they're doing things there together. Look, there's there's money. I think with the, Nigerians have a lot to learn from this boy, this this business aspect and everything, you know. But Nigeria would do a lot for them to end this guy's trust, to start working with them, to start doing things with them. Dr. Uh, Bonner boy have his own labor also, so he's not just working. Oh, I just want to sign without a labor. Bonner boy have his own labor also. So it's a partnership they, with, uh, they, with they all they all have a ground label that do yeah, the yeah, that's what, that's even what even 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 even, 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 even uh, Omale has his own label. They have local oh, yeah, producers. Yeah, they yeah. Need, so they have their they own labels, but they still guys. they still sign to other labels too. They just yes, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. you're right. That's what I'm talking about. That that we can say we can, look. You see, this battle war of YouTube Street is a you know is I think it. And it's going on your end, but in real life, bro, forget it. You understand me? It's just right. one love. You know, mm. that's just the truth. Whoever talk on a YouTube, that's just so but in real life, it's just mm. one love. Only that when you deal with these people, be honest to them. That's just mm -hmm. something to say. Exactly. If you, be, if you ask people to come back home, just be honest to them. What do you want them to come back home for? Mm. Not that you ask them to come back home, but in a way, you're looking for something. To gain out of them, you understand me? Rema, Rema just have Rema have a black American girlfriend. Rema, that guy called Calm Down Guy. You know that mm -hmm. is yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. They play, they play his music on, throughout the radio stations out here. Like a lot. yeah, man, it's just said to me. He just have he's, he have a, he's, he have a black American girlfriend. You understand me? Who's letting people in? I'm seeing someone has been posting there like as a have as a as a have as a have a black American girlfriend. You understand me? Ashaka, you understand? So these are not just... But, 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 they've, but they've, they've broken up. You didn't hear that part? They've broken up now. Yeah, because I, I, think, I think the guest said uh, Ashaka want to let the devil to use him or something. <laughs> yeah, so why, 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 why does that look so... Why is it that nobody is even looking at that? You know, when someone is telling you that... As Ashaka come out to say what? And that's someone that... And she was, she didn't uh, like sound too disrespectful. She could have gone. No, 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 no. She's just Ashaka. Ashaka is going mm. towards the devilish part that Ashaka want the devil mm. to use it. You understand? When me? you see, when you see where the guy is and the people he's collaborating with and all that, you think he get, he can't get that to that level by just being a, a talented singer from Nigeria. Do you know how many talents there are in uh, in Lagos alone? It's unlimited. You should know that. Oh, we don't know why they get break up with him, but I think the guy said Ashake, maybe they have their own plans. Maybe Ashake didn't want to listen. The guy said, yeah, the sister Ashake want the devil to no, use but, it. No, but I think we should go with the one she said. She said that the, the, uh, the devilish something kind of thing. She's not in for all that, you know? But you make me wonder that those, those, do, do these people mean that they don't see all that before entering those relationships or are they just... Uh, <laughs> All, all, these, all, all these girls, when they, I don't know. They should stop. They should stop lying to themselves. Some, some of them, you know, because you can you can see some of these things clearly. And uh, tomorrow you come and start acting like uh, you did not see anything. That, that's just the truth, man. I think uh, I think I think in a way, the collaboration is good. The relationship is good. I think uh, yeah, we just have to see. I have to. We have to be like the Chinese. That's just the truth. The all West Africans, should sub Sahara Africans, you know, we just have to think more like the way the Chinese is. Otherwise, you know, you know, you know the Russians know don't allow you know Russians don't allow certain music to be played in their country and they regulate everything. The not As every record should. label, not every record label can if you can go into Russian market or do mm. business there. So okay. that's how As we protect. Should. Because but, you know why? Because they because the Russians know that the CIA is a part of like American exporting their culture around the world. The CIA is very heavily in, embedded into it. So like the music, the music we listen to, the Holly, Hollywood, Disney, motion pictures and stuff like that. The CIA has been heavily, deeply embedded in these things, and they export the American culture. 
it's almost like a form of like soft power to invade another country. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so I, also, think the Russia, internet, I think Russia you understands know, this part. It's very hard for you to as much as possible. Exactly, it's very hard for you to fight against people that you want to be like. So, if, for example, you've been influenced heavily influenced by Hollywood and some hip hop music, do you think you would develop any kind of um, resistance to any agenda that's coming from the uh, US? Yeah. So exactly. it's just it's just the it's just the mindset. So who would tell me there's an agenda coming from the US? Are you sure what you're saying? Yes. Thank, thank you for answering that, uh, uh, our brother who is, uh, you know, a black American. No, no. Uh, but yes, no, but 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 what you what you should what you should know is this. He did not say anything, no. Because tomorrow I ask him because you you going to tell me did I say anything? You say no, and he's right. I want to, I want, I'm asking you, Mister Sibili. Hmm? Tell me if there is something behind it. America, okay. America, America has a good uh, some good influences, and obviously, no, no. Listen, listen. Now you ask the question, and obviously there are also um, people or businesses or organizations or individuals there that are also producing uh, things that are very harmful and bad for uh, humanity and the society. That's uh, but you cannot paint the whole it's people. That's 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 why that's why that. believe, calm down now. You ask the question now. So that's why I believe in this, uh, you shouldn't paint everything with uh, one brush, you know, especially when there are different dimensions to all these things. So America has its own positive influence around the world. So we cannot look at America and say, oh, everything that comes from America is bad. Because you don't forget, even if you're a Christian, the greatest evangelists and evangelicals, they're from America. So you need to, some of them, some of the greatest. So you need to understand that uh, that will also not make He's saying you... ones are pushing prosperity gospel and stuff that's keeping black people <laughs> dust. No, no, I'm talking about evangel. I'm talking about the uh, the early, especially the previous if you're generation. About the ev ev evangelicals, those people are yeah, they, heavily, the ones, they have they have an agenda no, too. They uplift. I'm talking Israel. about the people who traveled. The, I'm talking about people who traveled the world uh, preaching the gospel, not this uh, prosperity obsessed. Uh, a kind of preach uh, some of the preachers have, and all of them like, like these guys who are only you know trying to sell this idea that oh you just need money and success and all that meanwhile they are ignoring the part that jesus christ said uh you know it's very hard for rich man to enter into the kingdom of god so yeah i'm not talking about those ones we are talking about the ones who when but even 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 those aspects you have to watch out for because we already know that the West used religion to invade other countries too as well no, to push their agendas. No, no, but you guys shouldn't worry about Christianity at all because Christianity there's this kind of freedom. Uh, I don't know why you guys. When I see African Americans, not just you, my brother uh, Kumbaya, there's a lot of African Americans I see so talking so much about Christianity. I usually ask myself in Africa, for example, uh, because we see we see it on the ground. We see the Christian churches are pushing LGBTQ um, propaganda now too. So we see it on the ground. Well, that, that must we, be we a, something that, that we that we saw that we know. That we that, see. That's a perverted uh, kind of Christianity. It's not the it's not the real one, obviously. Yeah, but that's the mainstream Christianity that the West is promoting and exporting throughout the world. Yes. You mean? Are you trying to tell me that the church in America are all pushing uh, the? I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying all of them, but some of the mainstream ones. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they 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 get in government. They're getting government. They're government funded organizations. So yeah. Well, if, the, if there's any that's doing, which I'm not aware of, probably because probably I'm not living in America right now. So if there's any, then I don't know about them. But in Africa, there's this freedom of thought. You can even Africanize your church. You can even decide you only speak your language. You can pray in whatever form, you know. So that's why I feel like uh, this thing of hammering on Christianity is different. It's different, for example, compared to the Muslims. Because everything has to be done like it is done in Saudi Arabia. It's, it's regulated. That, that, that's, that's how you should, <laughs> that's the one you should be even careful with. The one that tells you that you must do it the way it's done in some country, in some foreign country, you get. Yeah. That's the same with Christianity to some degree, right? Because we know that the head of Christianity is Rome. <laughs> 
is the Vatican. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if the Pope, if, if the Pope allows certain things, then they will decree it as a law for all Christians. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I remember the Pope tried to say that uh, forced African Christians. We are not all Catholics, that. brother. Yeah. No, well, we're not all Catholics, but the Catholic, the Catholic Church, the Vatican, is the head of the whole Christian dome. <laughs> Well, well it, I don't. Saying? If that's your, maybe that's your belief in America. I'm not sure, but that's it's definitely a fact, bro. It's a fact. No, 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 no. That's not the belief here in Africa or in uh, I don't know Asia. That's probably how it looks like in America. I don't know. So the Catholic does not. People don't see the Pope as the head of Christianity. Yeah, but the government does. It's not. It's not up to the people. It's the government that sees the the Pope as the head of Christ of, of all of the whole of Christendom. But the government is not in charge of the religion. So what are you talking about, man? The government is not in charge of no, nobody. Wait, did, you, and Zubiri, did you know that Jesus was a homosexual? He's, he's trolling you. Don't, don't fall away. But Nasibidi, you seem like you're happy. Like, you're, you're very religious, aren't you? That's, that's the beauty of... Um, uh, that's uh, one of the things you need to, whether you support Christianity or not, that's one of the things you have to admire because there's no, you know, like if you say that you you can't get a reaction from me the way you think because uh, in Christianity there's that uh, liberty kind of. So you can't uh, really... Yeah, no, look at it. I wasn't even trolling. Look at this. Uh, the Jesus most Christians worship, right? That picture of that white Jesus is the, the one painted by Michelangelo, which is actually a picture of Tommaso di Cavalier, his lover. So that Jesus picture that, in fact, when I went to my um, my grandparents' house uh, in Kakamega, right, you know what I did to that picture of that Jesus? I burnt it down. They all thought I was some kind of pagan heathen, but I did it because it was a homosexual white man. That's what Christians worship in Africa, a homosexual white man. If you go to Nairobi or any African country, you'll see that same homosexual white man all yeah, over that- being sold in the streets. Then, then, then you should have put your statements in context and in perspective. You're talking about the man who was painted and represented as the image of uh, Christ while he was on earth, and uh, in reality, so that one I don't think it could be possible to be honest, because that's just a human. And to be honest, I'm among the people that don't believe in that portrait that every a lot of people are hanging. That that's like the image of Christ. That's a man looking like someone from Norway or something, and Christ was. Uh, uh, if even even if you can even if he's not black, which I'm not sure, he's definitely not uh, a white man from England or, or or Europe or you know, you know. Yeah, Jesus. So so that's what you should have said. But, but I think you were trying to be controversial and uh, man, Jesus, Jesus, now, Jesus right? is Igbo, man. Come on, stop it. <laughs> he's African, man. I, I, think, I think I could support you on that. I feel like he might be you know yeah, Igbo somehow. But one second, though, Ja, and, you know, in defense of uh, Nsibidi, right, without the white man bringing in uh, education through Christianity, most of us will be swinging on trees, worshipping some demonic versions of our religious practices. Like, Bullshit. I'm serious, maybe right? in East Africa. No, no, look, maybe. look, look. Um, but in West Africa, they already had... They already had hang on, hang on, society, I have a Kenyan here. Government. I, I have a Kenyan here. A Kenyan, right? Or rather, Kenyan girl. That's her name, right? Kenyan girl. Is it not true that without... Uh, okay, how did Kenyans get education in the rural areas, in the remote areas? Was it through Kenyans or was it through Christianity? Uh, but they, they, okay. Yeah, say the truth. Say the truth and ashamed the, the African. No, no, they found the, the missionary school, but it was their way of enforcing their colonization True. too. But they gave us education, right? And I don't know how it would have been if they just left us alone. Oh, okay, you see, she, she, she's now booty clapping, saying, Oh, maybe we would have developed our own technology. <laughs> exactly. But don't, mind all this, don't, mind, don't mind all this, my brother. Don't mind all these people that are talking about the ancestors and your ancestors. Hey, hey, Masha, Masha your, Jesus. Yeah, your, these people like to talk about the ancestors. We would have. The ancestors. Nah, man. Masha, 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 Chuku, Masha, Masha, Chuku, Masha, Tatan Zambi, man. Come on, stop all that. Okay, Masha Kaizori, man. That's the ultimate goal. <laughs> what is all that? What are you people saying? What is Masha? Is that? No, Masha, yeah, because you know, um, you know how the Muslims say Masha Allah? We say Masha Chuku or Masha Tatan Zambi. That's what we say. Yeah, Masha so is like a form of endearment. Like, oh my, 
it like oh my goodness but in an endearment way not in a demonic way so we say masha if you're a christian you should say masha jesus if you're muslim say masha allah and if you're a hebrew israelite uh you say masha tatan zambia and if you're kaizorian you say masha kaizorian the first and only god to ever exist masha, <laughs> yeah. <Kaizorian. That's> <laughs> oh, oh brother brother you are from kenya so are you proud of uh, obama uh, are you super proud of him uh obama is not from my tribe so no he's he's not i'm not proud of him but maybe kenyan girl tell me are you proud of him uh, yeah. okay. Kenyan girl is proud of Obama, but me, I'm a tribalist, so... No disrespect to the girls, but, you know, uh, girls, uh, you know, they like this, uh, you know, Obama is a kind of a shiny figure, kind of, uh, so... Oh, you mean he looks good? No, 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 not just because of the physical appearance, you know, this society, the status, you know, uh, you know a lot of people, okay. I don't, don't even understand. A lot of people don't even know why they they follow they, you know they find someone attractive, but you know because of okay uh, you know perception. Okay, okay. She says you know he must have done something great to have reached that level. I agree. He's obviously an intelligent man, but I don't agree with what he did. He destroyed Libya. Libya was a great country, um, uh, led by a great Pan Africanist uh, Arab um, wannabe. And, and he destroyed it. Right now in Libya, they're, they're turning uh, black Africans into slaves. They're selling Somalis. Yeah. This is very bad. He, listen, I don't want any Somali. He, inadvert he inadvertently um, increased the terrorism in the region, too, because by taking yeah. out Muammar Gaddafi, it caused a power vacuum, which caused yeah, a lot okay. of these uh, <laughs> these terrorists to, to flourish. You get what I'm saying? Kaiser? Well, I'm not. Uh, well, the only time I could have uh, for Gaddafi, I think, uh, if he had the tendency of disassociating himself from the larger Arab world, then I would have believed his, uh, you know, his uh, ideology of uh, United Africa. But apart from that, I don't think it's something we could have really hoped on and banked on. And, Isibini, you know, let me ask you a question, you know, right? And I, I'm not trolling anyone. If you understand what Arab, uh, you know, the previous Arab leaders or whatever have done to Africa, I don't think we would be uh, trusting and trusting Gaddafi with all of that, you know. So as much as I don't uh, uh, agree with, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Obama. It doesn't mean that uh, I don't know for sure how they got rid of uh, uh, what was the name Gaddafi because we can't speak on something we don't have a hundred percent certainty on. But uh, Gaddafi, to me, is not someone that would yeah, just. One second, one second, my brother. The money came in. Uh, let me just... him as a... One second, brother. Let me let me quickly respect the money. Shout out to Nak Mizi, man. Shout out to my Black American brother over here. Hey, yo, it's Fighting, a little big, bro. Um, you know the vibes. One Black American at a time for the eleven euros. But this brother he used to give 22 euros. He's he's halved it, man. He's like Kaiser. Kaiser, 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 Kaiser. I think Nakmiz is hiding somewhere in Caribbean, enjoying life because it's too, in his mind now, everywhere is too much now in his head. You know what I mean? You know, oh, yeah, you know Nakmiz is, right. is the real dude, the real guy. Straightforward I, I guy, like man. The, I like I the guy a lot. Like you know, you know four black like me is one of my favorite blacks no no yeah not yeah black. four black four but, blacks also very real but that busy man you can no no you know that busy mind but forget about all this throw something this play like this is my real guy man the guy the dude mm. is good man he's straightforward that's your real guy he's, yeah. he's very powerful you know, i watched some of his fight in the um, mm -hmm. so what he's doing man you know that, that's that's a real guy that's a real g man as as a cousin my black America calls it. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You know what's disappointing to me? Imagine I decided to do eight hours, 41 minutes today. The only super chat I get is from a black. The other one is from a white man. You know, the, Afri the Africans are definitely losing on, on, on this war, man. This, this is why I have to respect the, the Africans and the, the black Americans. Yeah, the, uh, the Africans, of course, the panelists are also good. They're doing their part by working for free. Uh, for me so that that's also good right so shout out to kidola right ja and uh everyone else in the panel but masha respect to nakmizi and the white man over there uh, nakmizi you see that's it that's why i love white people man white people are keeping a pan-african channel alive without white man even the african union is funded by the white man but which white Bidi, man that know? man might be are you sure that man is a white man well he's half indigenous uh white and half indigenous uh normal white 
He's from Finland. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but it's not just well, him. So I uh, gonna, yeah, ben... yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, photography, photography people keep saying all that, but I feel like um, we couldn't, we can't really say for sure. I don't understand why we want to project and assume that Gaddafi would have been this giant African hero and all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, we have people that are currently on ground that we need to look out for and push. Why do we have this culture of, uh, you know, uh, Africans, you know, especially the, we keep on waiting until we've heard that somebody has been attacked. I think it's very hard to be a revolutionary or something in Africa because it seems our people will bit, just... I don't even think, uh, here's the issue, right? And I've really lamented on this for a while and I'm not a defeatist. Mm. I don't think that, look, I know you call Kenya this and that, but I actually want Kenya to be taken over by an European country, man, because... I just think he'll be way better than he is. Like, I'm being serious. I don't even hate the white man. I, I am more worried about the Chinese and the Russians and the Indians taking over because these people have never had power. So now they won't even know how to use it. But the white man, uh, when I say the white man, I mean, you, you know, UK, Germany, America, France. I actually think they're better. Like, let me give you an example. You guys were so excited. Burkina Faso. Oh, they're kicking out the French. Do you know what's happening to these countries? They're worse than they were. There's more terrorist attacks. The country's poorer. People are poorer. Corruption is just as high. Nothing has changed in any of those cool countries. So honestly, this idea of like fighting the wrong enemy, like Africa's biggest enemy is internal corruption. Nothing to do with the white man. That's my opinion. But, you know, I could be wrong. Yeah, for sure. I also believe uh, a lot of uh, Africans sabotage themselves. And I think this issue of tribalism is... Uh, one of the reasons, and you, 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 you wonder why some of these government officials or people in power in Africa, you wonder why they cannot think beyond, you know, that kind of sentiment. Although sometimes they need also the votes or their base, you know, kind of a base. That's why sometimes they repeat those uh, tribalistic uh, rhetoric. But the, it's also important that these people think far from that and they can actually make Africa better. Like, okay, people keep talking about uh, the security. Secure. There's a guy, two Niger, <laughs> that likes talking about uh, security. You see, the thing is, security, what does it have to do with infrastructure and not stealing the money for developing your, your, your you know, infra, the infrastructure of your, of your, you know, your country? The, the, that's two different things. For example, is Dubai, uh, will you consider uh, UAE a very, some kind of powerful military country? You can't, but people are all there. You know, they are known all over the world. People are going there, it's respected, so clean, organized infrastructure, 100%. So why do people have to, the one you can control, why can't you do it well? Why are you looking for some, you know, you want to build military, you want to fight your enemies? Do what you can do to develop your people or your country or your infrastructure that has nothing to do with any white man not wanting to, not wanting you to succeed if i'm right you know hello go ahead we are listening yeah so so that, 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 that has nothing to do with anybody not wanting you to succeed or whoever is coming to, you know. So develop, you see people stealing billions, go to these African countries. You hear that this person is being investigated for one billion, two billion, ten okay. billion, millions. And you'll be asking yourself, do you know what this mon all this money could have done? Okay. For the development, you could have built so you know how many hospitals you build with you build with, for example, 500 uh, a million naira, for example. You build okay. hospitals, uh, uh, brother. Uh, can I say something? Yes, the reason Nigeria or Africa, uh, West Africa, for example, is poor is because of the failure of the citizen including me and you any control over the world it is the citizen and the private sector that normally build country government all over the world they don't know how to run business they don't know how to run anything theirs is to collect 
facts and most times the private sector and the politician collaborate in formulating policy. So when I see that many of us want government to build everything, even including agriculture, I just tell myself that we are not ready at all. We will continue to suffer. If you pay attention, the almost all the five presidents that have been elected in Nigeria since 1999 date, Nigerians have been complaining and insulting the president. If we are actually a thinking people, I think we should have discovered, oh, wow, it's, it's like, it is not the president, it is us. Because we cannot just elect five people and all the five, pe five people are bad. Then there's, there's something. We are not productive. We don't create things, uh, anything like add uh, value-added goods to sell to other people to make money and create the job and create the environment we want. But we want everything to and be and done. That the, and that is the fault of the citizens. Yes, it is. It is the fault. Yes, it is. My brother, you're very funny. Huh? No, I'm not funny. It is. So it so is. Okay, we, okay. We, let me we, ask you. You live in America. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. You you live in the, no, let me ask you something. You live in the United States before. Can you please name me one company owned or run by the United States government? One company, one. So it's not about owning. It's about it's about support. Let me give you an example, since you want uh, an example. See, you, okay, fine. No, if you want to use the word support, the federal yeah, government yeah. already supporting. Hold on, sir. The federal government mm. already supporting the private sector in Nigeria because if if they are not, then I believe most of this uh, private sector on, on Nigeria businessmen would have fold up and go go back home. They already do that. Well, my brother, you see, um, nobody is saying that the government is against the private sector. But what mm -hmm. you are saying, you're talking about there, 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 there are. The only thing I can tell you is that, for example, listen to the latest interview of this guy, um, this guy that has a uh, earpiece, and talk, and you, you'll be able to get some insight on not just because of his own business, but you have to get some insight on the kind of challenges that indigenous, um, businesses or industries are, are you know are facing so it's a big thing and uh, you cannot okay. say that you Hold develop on. for example you have a you, let's assume you have a landlord mm. you think you cannot build anything in your compound without the without the support of your landlord for example Okay, so okay, hold on, hold on. So the, hold the on. government so in Africa are the landlord of every of all the I want to answer you the, That's where they the, can take any land for, anytime. For instance, did LPs ever tell you that go federal government denied them of any support? Did he say they, they deny him? Did the did LPs say no, government no, no, no. deny him of any support? It, it's not. Uh, I think you want a, you want a one way kind of uh, simplistic no, answer. No, I just want like to be, see because. See, one thing that always gets me mad is that all we do is we all, all of us have this cannot do. It is the government is the problem. It is government is the problem. See, even when, okay, for instance, let me use Lagos for instance. Even when they were banned on, like the federal government was in control of generate electricity. But Lagos were, was all, uh, was able to find a way, find a loophole in the constitution and create independent power plant for themselves. So we cannot continue to say it is the government. Go no, it is not. But you just okay. talked about Lagos oh, creating for oh, themselves. Oh, no. oh, that's a state government now. For instance, yes, I guess that's a state government. For instance, when it comes to agriculture, I listen to Nigeria. Oh, food is a then what are you doing? You tra okay, go travel across the world. Tell me any country whereby the government is in, in charge of producing food for the citizens. It is not. No country on, in the world. It is the citizen that go ahead, uh, uh, produce these things, farm and produce. 
Yes, I know there's government policy maybe to make a, a, a fertilizer cheaper and uh, uh, and maybe provide land. Yes, I, I get that. But those are when it comes to land for for instance in Nigeria, that's not that's not an issue. You can get farmland there or across the country, but people are not willing to do this thing. They believe it is government that will buy trout or and go ahead and farm and and put food in the, uh, on their table. It's not going to happen. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I think you're 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 um, you're not being uh, realistic with that. Nobody expects government to go and farm. Nobody is asking for that, and it's quite unfortunate that you. Unless if you're uh, some political, maybe your family is in charge of something in Nigeria. No, we are not. It's not. Very unfortunate that you're thinking like that. No, Listen, no, sir. See, 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 see. see. Come, come, come you know let me like hold on, hold on. Let me explain why I'm thinking like that. I have traveled mm. a lot also. I have seen things. I have traveled. Sometimes when I travel to different country, you know what I normally do? I take a road trip. You know what I always observe? When you leave the city, what you see is just most times it's farming, farmland, where they grow and plant their, their food. It can be only farm, uh, pineapple farm, or oranges, you see acres. These things are owned by private sector or normal citizen, like me and you. You're not getting the point. Okay, all okay, the, tell me. All, all these people you're saying, no, but everybody knows that private citizens own most of these things. <clears throat> Do your own research on how the how you know some of these uh, developed and uh, thriving countries or cities, how they came to be. For example, Dubai, the UAE, the revolutionary leader, I think what's the name of that shape of uh, UA of uh, UAE and also the one for Dubai. They are two different people. Those are people that you it's you or you're talking about the, the founder of Singapore. You you see you need to understand that it is the government that will create the, the environment for the citizens to thrive, whether they are doing business or... So it's not like, oh, government, come and do everything. No, but you have to create policies. You have to be firm. You have to be able to stand up to external influences that will want to use their own companies, for example, because you don't understand that there is the part or there's a part of external, um, like foreign nations or foreign, um, you know, businesses that are being backed by their own government to come and subdue all your own business so that you have a monopoly of your market. For example, if you, for example, the example that uh, Elpis was talking about is how some of those foreign uh, countries support their own airline so that they can even, for example, now you see they've removed. They've slashed, they are actually underpricing, undercharging ticket fares. These are the same people that were charging uh, how many million? Is it seven or um, five million? And EPIs brought their own down to 1.3 million. 1.3 million, right? Okay, I... okay. No, no, come Now, wait, wait, let me give you an example <laughs> so that you understand what I'm saying. 1.3 million, right? Then, do you know some of the great some of the challenges that Airpiece was going that you know was is facing or was facing is also internal, which he shared. He talked about he's talking about the president is okay. You know he has to talk in a politically correct way so that uh, it doesn't look like he's accusing the you know his his president or the federal government. But he talked about those internal uh, arms. What eternal arms? Influences that also will come in and want to take over your own market, and because they'll explode the corruption in your country and they'll bribe the, you know, the government officials that are in charge of those uh, areas, and so that the government officials against their own citizen. So those are some of the challenges. So you, as a government, you have to first create an enabling environment. You know okay. that you are going you see, to we always throw that business. word. We always throw that word around. Can I ask you, did you know the reason which, why which word are we, which word are we, which word are we but, throwing around? Yeah, but I want to tell you the government actually do that. For instance, did you know why the uh, what caused the issue between UAE and Nigeria? Do you know what caused it? 
it was because of air peace. Because uh, Nigeria government demand that uh, uh, UAE should give air peace a slot in Dubai airport. But the UAE said there were no available slot there. That they have available slot in another city that is far away from Dubai. And the Nigeria government said no. If that's, why I told, that's why I told you that Epis himself they said the government was supporting him, but he's talking about some other internal kind of, of government officials that are also trying to sabotage him. So when you're talking about government, and are you talking about the president? Because if you look at in government, the number one person that controls the power is the president. But as far as the president is there to help, every other officials you can name their name. See, they are trying to sabotage you. You understand me? So, see, apart from enable environment, let's be honest. Nigeria private sector, I'm not going to just let them walk away free. Even their delivery uh, to their customer as a, as a, I mean, a service to their customer, it is bad and chaotic. They don't know how to serve their customers. They do. They behave anyhow. So which people? Which people? I'm talking about private the Nigeria private sector. Oh, you're talking about general. Now, Yes, generally, call your bank now, tell them to resolve issue for you. It will take hours, sometimes days. So some same people will be complaining the government is incompetent. They themselves are incompetent. So that is the thing. Even the LPs, if you actually check, maybe their service, their service might also be bad. The service they render to their customer. I'm not even talking about price. I know that we are we are talking about government responsibility. I think you're the one that pushed the conversation to. Yes, I'm just uh, also want to tell you that but, but we complain about, about government only uh, most time. Government, government, even the people, the so-called, uh, including myself, I'm adding myself in all of these private sector or private citizens. We are also involved in the current state of the country, the way we behave, the, our attitude to. A business environment or dealings, everything is included. Sometimes we don't want to do things in the right way. We believe we can cut corners and get things done quickly. These are part of the problem, also. So, when you look at Nigeria, for example, we okay, look, we have a population of 200 million people, and Nigeria export last year was, was about 60 billion. South Africa. It's a, two, a country of 50 million. Their uh, uh, export last year was about 100 something billion dollars. So what does that say? And in that, when you look at the Nigeria export, when you pull out the export from the federal government, which is uh, oil and gas, it is like the rest 200 million people are just useless. Go when you look at the international market right now, cocoa prices skyrocketing. From about 5,000 per ton to about 10,000 now. Is it our avocado? Many things that we can actually do to get foreign exchange, but we are not doing anything. We think government, government, government is. The, no, it's not going to happen. Their, their mandate is to take tasks from you. Maybe okay, help formulate uh, uh, uh what they call it. The, the, cocoa, the cocoa you have used as an example, do you think is the private uh, individuals, you know, citizens or individuals that should go and uh, see, uh, see, maybe start oh, hold on, oh, hold on. If maybe I'm a local businessman, like let's say Dangotena, I'm cultivating about 200 acres of cocoa. Don't you think I can easily uh, ship that? Okay, okay, let me say, okay, fine. I'm a small uh, cocoa farmer. I can easily sell it to a larger company. It is possible. It can so be many, done. Uh, there are so many cocoa, you know, small scale cocoa farmers in Nigeria, if that's what you're talking about. Uh, you think you. Not... So, what I'm trying to say is that, see, we have a lot of ways to make money, but many people believe it is the government. See, 
government does not create jobs. It is always the private sector. My mother, that you, have to, you have to put things in perspective. When we, when yes, we, when no, I'm not about, Okay, okay, when let me, about, go, go, okay, okay, let me explain properly. Do you know that the private sector creates more jobs than the public sector? Yes, that, they that, do. That's just a normal thing. Thank Everywhere, you. Worldwide. worldwide. So what I'm so saying who, who now, for example, let me ask you, let me just give you an example of my uh, the point I'm making when I'm talking about enabling environment. So, for example, you go and buy a land somewhere. We, I don't know which part of, uh, if you don't mind, which part of Nigeria are you from? Yeah, those okay, let's say, for example, you go somewhere inside Auchi and go and buy a land somewhere, some rural, very rural place, for example, right? And and uh, there's no, there's no, just listen, there's no proper, um, there's no motorable road to that particular let's say one acre that you bought and there is no proper uh, drainage system around there or there is no electricity around there so that is also the fault of the private citizen that have gone there to buy a, a land is it the one that is supposed to make the road and do the pipe bomb is, water and also okay. no just yeah. like, it's a question is it no, the one that is supposed to make the road uh, connect electricity and I want to answer himself. I then you tell me you. how much is he going to have to do the business when he has used all that Let, to, I, to make I, I, I'm ready to answer. That is the responsibility of the state government, or responsibility of the local and state government. Don't say government. That's all. It doesn't matter which level. No, of no, government. no, 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 no. See, see, government, see right? no, 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 no. See, see, this is part but of the problem. In like, no, the no, 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 no. See, see, see. see. No, no, because when you look at uh, over the years, over the years, uh, we have allowed state government to go scot free with their evil okay. doings and behavior. Well, well, that's that's just my point. I, I, to be honest, my argument is not whether it's federal government or state. No, we I have to because many Nigerians don't know where the problem is, where the problem lies. They always but believe you, it is just one one person, one person who are who is the head is the problem. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. We are talking about my argument is for the private citizen. It can be as long as it's not against a, another private citizen. So, as whether it's the state government or the federal government, the issue is is not that citizen that will create the enabling environment for his business to thrive. There are so many companies. That, are, that cannot be in some places in Nigeria, probably because of epileptic power supply, isn't it? So who, who is supposed to create, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the const, uh, constant electricity in Nigeria? Is it the private citizen? Okay, let me tell see, let me tell you the truth why Nigeria don't currently have electricity. Nigeria energy sector currently is not oh, viable. Um, Hold on, oh, sir. Oh, let, oh, me, oh, let me finish. Oh, it's oh, not oh, currently, oh, it, it is not currently viable. What, what we are paying as a uh, fee for energy is a joke. We are not serious. We are going to continue to live. See, if we are not ready as a people to actually pay for the fair share of the price of like a uh, commodity like uh, 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 for petrol, energy and uh, let's say uh, gas then we are not ready because this this these are international commodities we know the price so sometimes we want to pay we don't want to pay less than nothing and we expect the best it's not going to happen let's allow the, the, the government that oh government you see you have been undercharging us so please charge us more so that uh, you no know, what i'm trying to say is that the government say uh, to remove the subsidy that was there, they claim they put. Then let, let's allow private investment to come in. Because if the private sector know, okay, fine, they cannot be able to make money. They are going to actually invest in the. They are going to make are the investment saying, that the sector needs. Are you saying the private citizen refused refuse the the government proposal of private sectors? Do you know how many private sectors have taken over Nigerian power since the time of uh, Obasanjo? You know what why it didn't work? 
No, let me so, tell you no, why I didn't walk. Because... I, think you're, I think your position is constantly taking a position. I think you're playing maybe advocate or something for... No, no, see, see, see. 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 Oh, see, 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 see. No, let me say oh, something. No, you have to do... You have to no, no, do no, 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 let me say... No, no, see, see, see. You have to do see. it No, sir. See, Even yes, if you're see. playing that kind of uh, devil's advocate. This, this is not devil advocate here. Mm. See, most of us can play from from morning to night that the country is not working and all that. But when you look at what government is subsidized, how is the economy is going to even grow when the government subsidizes everything? Do you think the, the, the private sector will come in if we don't at least remove what something and what, allow what and what, investment to come in? What and what has the government subsidized, for example? Can you give okay, me an example? Okay. Nigeria government was subsidizing uh, PMS, SK, education, <laughs> and uh, oh, uh, uh, my, brother, uh, my brother, my brother, you can't be serious to be honest. You can't be serious. So, so for example, let's use the petrol yeah. subsidy, right? Yeah. Let's, for example, let me use petrol subsidy. So, mm -hmm. petrol subsidy, you think is, you think is a very big favor that the government have done to the Nigerians by removing it. A country that produces petrol, people that probably have petrol in their villages at home. America, America produces petrol. And you're talking about healthcare. Which healthcare? Which, <laughs> which healthcare are you talking about? So right now, as you are now, if you go to Nigeria now, you can go and uh, you can enter any government hospital and be treated, uh, uh, you know, at, at some subsidized level. Wait. What are you talking about? Hold on, 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 let me explain, hold on, let me explain, oh, oh, the, see, calm down, calm down, see, let me explain to you. You guys, you guys are just... Hold on, see, sometimes, then, hold on, you leave me, okay, fine, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me ask you, hold on, hold on, let me ask you a question, then I'll answer you. You said you live in Italy. Hold on, how much will it cost for you to do a brain surgery in the United States? Like, you have somewhere uh, like, you can do a, you have you have somewhere you can do a brain surgery in Nigeria, right? No, uh, see, I'm just asking you, how much is it going to cost you for a, a like a brain surgery to remove a blood clot from your brain in in uh, in America? How much? Like how much? Minimum. Like how much is go, is it going to cost? Actually, make your point. Make your point, though. No, at least I need to because of because I want to because I want to tell you as that. I want to give you the fact since you are arguing that okay, Nigeria government doesn't. How much is it going to cost? So that so with that, I will give you what I wanted to say. I'm, I'm arguing that Nigeria government doesn't do it. Okay. No, and and okay, if you're going to go with that, I'm asking you, where can you do a brain surgery in Nigeria? Where? In a do state here. Yeah. In a do state here. Yeah. I do, you yeah. can do a brain surgery. Then tell us the price. I don't know. Tell us the food. So that we know how much the government okay. subsidized. My dad, okay, fine. My dad spent two weeks in UBTH and everything, including uh, the, the surgery. Do you know how much it cost us? 400,000 naira. Yes, that's how much it cost. So your point is that this subsidy that they have subsidized the healthcare, for example, is the reason why uh, the government is not able to uh, do what they are supposed to do in the country, like maybe in terms of infrastructure or no, whatever. See. That's the, the point. See, no, no, see, I will not advocate against a, a, a subsidy for healthcare. No, on that one, I agree. But there are some certain things that I believe the subsidy need to go. For instance, I agree, free education should be from primary to secondary school. University, if you want to attend university, people should pay their first share. I believe what they are currently paying right now in Nigeria, it is, it is bad. Because after all, the Nigerians who are doing this for, they will grow up and say the country, they have not benefited nothing from the country. Many of them travel abroad and become successful there. They don't, hold, me, they, hold on, sir. they don't hold yeah. student, uh, student loan. 
and these people go back and badmouth their country. They're, oh, nothing. We are not going anything from the uh, from, from the country. And their colleague and their mate in the United States are owing two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars in uh, in uh, what do you call it student loan. So let me ask you, since you're trying to go this route of uh, whether government, so uh, do you benefit more than uh, the people of Qatar, for example, which uh, probably before you, by the time you're 35, the government gives you, um, you know? no, wait now, wait, wait, please don't, uh, just let me learn. Uh, they give you like a loan to get a house or is it a land and they pay you and all that and you go to school up to the university level free. And yet their country is still functioning. And even the brother on this platform, I think he's from Kenya. Brother, is it Kaizu? I don't know the name. It's I, wish you can come, I wish you can come on and tell us some of the government assisted programs or subsid or subsidized uh, uh, you know services in your country in Kenya, so that you tell me if that stopped your country from having constant electricity. Because that's the logic. Uh, brother, <laughs> no, no, what can we see? see. Those countries like this that you are brother, saying, it. Brother, hold on, hold on. The countries are many of many people are Kenya, Many of these people are paying the the actual price for energy. No, they are not paying next to you, you, Will you have you lived they in Kenya? They are before? not paying next to nothing for I energy, believe, and they complain. They want a they want a hundred percent energy. Have you lived in Kenya? My brother, use energy okay, as an example. Kezo, okay, Kezo, you answer the question. Let me keep quiet. Okay, so in Kenya, what we did is uh, we invested heavily on uh, geothermal um, uh, and also hydrothermal ele electricity. So initially it was expensive. We took some loans, but now it's much, much cheaper because we're, it's more or less free energy. So I, I think there was just that initial investment, and this was done by... Uh, Kibaki, one of the best presidents that we ever had. He had no very little corruption, and the guy really changed the country. Because pr prior to him, we were ruled for thirty years by a dictator called Moi. So, I, I believe Kibaki set these standards up, invested heavily on you know underline, energy. Underline, bold the name Kibaki, Nigerian for underline it in your mind, Kibaki. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, continue, brother. continue. Crazy. Brother. Like, how much are you guys paying? maybe uh every month like you now let me ask you how much are you paying every month in dollar can you please transfer uh, oh, about it okay no for me obviously I'm, i have a house i have a lot of electronics okay i have a house uh two bedroom house with a lot of electronics let's say okay let me go through what i have first i have my laptop and my screen which is always on every day <coughs> i've got my um my freezer i have my projector i have my 50 inch tv there's also the the oven that i use and that's most of the things. Now I spend around, I would say around four thousand Kenyan shillings, which is around thirty dollars a month on electricity. So, Mister Nigerian okay. first aid. Hold on, that let is, me do the. Hold on. Is it first, first Nigerian first? Uh, is, it, is it Nigerian first or Nigerian first aid? I don't know. That's uh, that is thirty-six thousand naira. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you saying? $30 is a... Uh, That's about... Uh, $30 is about uh, 36,000 uh, Naira for laptop and... Uh, do you use a ref refrigerator? TV? Hello? Studio, yeah, refrigerator... TV, cooker, all that. Yeah, everything. He actually mentioned every electronic you can think of. In the world. No, it didn't. It didn't. I so what did he mention? I think he mentioned, uh, I think, TV and the uh, laptop, then the uh, light, and uh, I think that that's all. I don't know if he mentioned fridge and two room. Well, that, uh, good. that's good. That's you know what my my parents is paying in a two flat apartment in a, in my a, state here every month. Huh? Yeah, we can hear you now. Continue. Yes, 
is about uh, 25,000 Naira. So, my brother, let me ask you, uh, you are comparing, someone just told you clearly right now, mentioned all the electronics. Yes, but is, actually, that's two rooms. But, okay, now, fine. Wait, uh, wait, wait. No, no, no I, I'm, I'm not trying to even prove you wrong. <clears throat> I just want you to get the information right. You see, if someone just... Okay, let, okay let's agree. All the, all, all the, all the, all the uh, electronics, fine. Let's agree and on that. And you said $30, right? Which you translated yes. to... Uh, uh, 30,000 era. 30,000. Yes. And that is someone that they have uninterrupted power supply, right? And uh, and that is someone in a two-bedroom house in the city, uninterrupted mm -hmm. power supply. Uninterrupted power supply at $30 per month. And mm -hmm. you think that... Is, and you think that he's paying so much, and which is why you that you don't have no. light. I don't know how many hours really? you have light. Wait now, wait, wait. I don't know how many hours you have light. I do. I don't know how many hours you have light in a day in your place there in Edo State. Then, and you're comparing that. You're saying that okay, you that is paying twenty five thousand, you are better off with your maybe six hours or five hours of light per day. Uh, if you if that's okay, let's say something. Okay, let me let okay, hold on. So, so all this he lives, hold on. Well, let me explain this to you. He lives in Nairobi. For instance, people in Lagos get more constant electricity, you understand me, than people in Edo State because Lagos already created the independent power plant in Lagos before okay, federal government decided not to divorce uh energy responsibility but I, was, I, was living in, I, was living, I was living in lagos my brother so we see in lagos mm. what you think maybe if you go somewhere in Igoi or go somewhere in um, vi maybe somewhere there or you go somewhere in um, ikeja i think i remember when i was in ikeja close to that government um that i for mean, for area I think there was, we used to have light, not constant, but probably in a day, maybe like uh, six, uh, maybe eight hours or nine hours. Again, if it goes too far, probably 10 hours then. So the, the they might be having light than every other part of uh, maybe some, you know, some other places in the South. Not actually, not actually, even Plateau have more power than Lagos. Plateau states, they enjoy more electricity there. It's still not constant, but they have more. So it's not about that. But you need to understand the fact that we're saying, uh, even in the Lagos itself, there is no constant electricity. It might be better than some other areas, but there is no constant electricity. And the problem is what you're not talking about. You think the problem is because you're paying low amount. Or because you think it's not privatized, the whole thing is privatized. The PHN, what is the latest one? I don't even know the latest one. See, so uh, it's not okay. When, you're, hold on. when I mean hold on. when I mean privatization, eh, I'm not Wait, uh, uh, you, first, let me ask mm -hmm. you guys in Nigeria, uh, how mm -hmm. do, you, do you is it postpaid or is it prepaid uh, meters? Majority, I think of it is prepaid now. Okay, now but, currently, but, yes, but, currently now it's prepaid before it was put. Uh, postpaid, yeah. okay. You know, the postpaid was why, are you why are you giving people wrong information, my brother? Now, it's before better. It was, no, 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 before it was pro that is the bring. Uh, no, no, was, no, was listen, yeah, listen, the prepaid has not circulated Nigeria, it's 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 in specific areas for now, it's still spare, you know, it's still spreading. But made the larger part of Nigeria are still using postpaid, where you bring meter and they are not using prepaid. So okay, the larger but, part, okay. quite like a me, number of area me, in Lagos oh, oh, and, oh, oh, and Abuja. I am wrong, but in my house we use uh, prepaid. So yeah, that's well. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's it. Is it's something still is not yet in full effect, you know? Maybe compared to yes, Kenya. Not also yeah. like it's not hundred percent. Uh, like it's not, it's not even it's not even, not even fifty percent. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not even fifty percent yet, and that's not the argument. Whether postpaid or prepaid, it doesn't matter. The matter is a uh, 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 stable or 
uh, what is it called, reliable electricity, which is not there. There's only one state right now that have used their initiative, which they've been trying to do, which Bat Energy, uh, you know, pro have been pro proposing to the federal government for a long time. But because of the same corruption and internal saboteurs, they have not, they were not able to adopt his policy. But at least his state, at least his state was able to adopt his idea, his project, and they believed in it and gave him the necessary support. And right now, the geo, the what geometric power station in Abia State is functioning and it's already spreading. They've not had a, they've not have hundred percent coverage, but a larger part of Aba, which is one of the major cities in the state, already using the, uh, you know, the stable electricity, and they are spreading internally. And probably in this period of maybe one or two years, they will cover the entire state. You understand? So that is also a state. The man is a private citizen, and he came up with that uh, idea and the project. Got the funding from you know the banks and all these people. And got this backing of the state is actually the state. That's why people are praising the governor. Meanwhile, the project was started by uh, the a private citizen, but the governor is being praised because the state adopted that policy and the state supported him, and now the thing is working. You understand? Okay. okay. Uh, let me ask: Are there any things that the federal government or state government have not supported? Any have you seen on TV? Okay, somebody will say, okay. The federal government or the state government they support me. Because okay, for instance, I've seen innocent actually on interview say the federal government and state have supported him. So me yeah, when we complain that okay, government are not supporting, I've never seen most of the people who are engaged in this business complain. They don't. Engaging which business? Well, it's it is us that always assume that the the government is not supporting. They do support. You say engaged in which business? Which business exactly? All kinds of business. For instance, innocent producers. He produced military hardware. Uh, I mean, military uh, uh, car. Yes, uh, yes, armor cars for Nigerian military. They even also normal uh, vehicles. And the argument, and the argument, the argument is not that the state is not supporting businesses. All the businesses. Obviously, there are there are some areas that are proving like to be a very big challenge for the government to actually do the right thing in terms of which I've just given the examples. But uh, the argument or the whole point I was trying to make is creating a conducive environment for. In fact, nobody is even asking you to. Nobody is even asking you to go and scout for foreign investors. Or maybe you go and ask uh, this company coming, this one coming. Nobody, they're asking you to create, for example, the environment in terms of road networks uh, into all the internal areas, proper electrical coverage, drainage system so that flood will not be chasing and killing people the way when, when there's heavy rains. You have to create the proper infrastructure on ground so that people everybody knows that man appreciates by the uh, amenities or that are there in terms of electricity and road accessibility so when you have all that then it will be so easy for someone like me to now come and say oh, i want to buy a land no matter where it is in the village because i know there is road there is electricity and there is water do you understand? So that's what I mean by uh, enabling environment. And also, every unnecessary or, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, inflated kind of taxation should be reviewed. And every bottleneck, you know, before you open some businesses, you, you go around government parastatals and, uh, you know, offices and agencies until you're even tired of doing the business. So. You, you streamline those things and make it easy for people to be able to do their business. As long as they are doing legal businesses and they are paying the required tax. You understand? So that's just the only thing we are talking about. Yeah, well, 
I understand, but if we want to actually see things work in the country, I think we, the citizen, actually need to take the matter, then maybe partner with the uh, federal, go uh, federal government. For me, I to, to me, based on many roads in Nigeria, need for there to be constant maintenance, there need to be two in some of the roads in Nigeria. Allow people to pay to tow the road, allow people to pay for two, so that there will be fund for maintenance. Do you want a unique do you want a unique system in Nigeria or you want what is practiced around the world? Yes. Because now since you, okay. since you, since you okay. since you're because I understand where you're coming from and I know where you're going. See, I'm because, speaking from I'm see speaking I'm from speaking from the old I'm speaking wait, because wait. when I sound like okay. see, I always say this eh. Oh, you want them to hold on, hold on, let me say something. Hold on, hold on, let me say something now. Can they talk, no, the, the can country they talk will wish, hold on, hold on. The country we wish for, the country we wish for, yeah, it's not going to be free. It's going to cost, it's going to be expensive. Many people cannot afford the country we wish for. Let's be honest. Same. How do you see your, how do you see your saying? You're not, you're not saying the what uh, I'm asking. I'm asking you, do you want a unique situation in nigeria say charge mm. the people or do you want what is acceptable and practiced around the world yes what is acceptable oh, because i've gone oh, in, i've gone hold on i've gone to a country where where, I, where and where are they throwing in uk where are you, i don't know where you're not talking in, about see, uk is not the template here have you i don't know no, if no, have you have to, have you to, I've traveled to Asia. Yeah, are, are you in, in Kenya? Please. You, uh, hold on, let me ask you. I'm not talking about Kenya here. Have you traveled to Asia before? Okay. Have you been to a country like Malaysia or oh, Singapore? So I, should, I should talk about Asia before I talk about a fellow black African country. No, I'm just asking, see, because we are discussing Nigeria, not uh, this thing. That's what I'm saying now. If you're discussing Nigeria, no, I'm not, then, because, if, you want to use, if you want to use that logic, then don't go to Asia. Talk about Nigeria. And if you even if you want to use a similar situation, use the situation of your fellow African countries. Okay, okay, okay. Have, ask okay, them fine. where we are we towing in Kenya, for example. Okay, fine. If we want that not to happen, then can we at least pay our taxes? Because many Nigerians are not paying except uh, the multinationals and the uh, uh, large corporation <laughs> yes they do hey, so, man, hold on hold on i think honestly hold on. They, need to, they need to invite you now and give you hold on. Social media, uh, manager, hold on hold on because for, some of for, us for the want, government some of us want an ed dorado but we feel it is it's not going to cost anything that okay they will just come did you know how much? Okay, you talk about UK. Do you know how much you British citizens are paying for energy? Be honest. Can you tell me how much they are paying for energy? That constant twenty-four you hours move, energy. You have moved this thing. You move this thing from electricity to you know when we talk about government. It is electricity, electricity, what? gas. All of them. The all of them are energy. To from private sector to pharma, from pharma to electricity. Yes. From yes. Oh, and you, you just keep on, by the time uh, we deal with this one, you're no, asking no, 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 now. No, 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 you no, no. move it. You move it to. Do you because, know how much people you are measured UK. Hold on, you measure UK area. So I wanted to respond based on the UK you were saying. Okay, okay. What kind? Okay, let me ask you now. Your position is, your your position is permanent. You're shifting the conversation, but your position is permanent. Which yes, is my position is of course my position is permanent. I'm not going to because you know why. Matter, I'm not going to talk because about we here. have all done. We have do we have done the same thing since 1990. Date. Where is the growth in Nigeria? Where is the change? It's nothing. We have done which thing? We have practiced this. Subsidize everything culture in Nigeria since 1999. Oh it has not worked. It's the same subsidize that even the government is is are the ones fighting to remove. I don't know what you're. I, no, you know what? what it, see, it, see. You know why I want? Hold on. You know why I want the government to remove all these subsidies? So there will be no excuse because that subsidy is what they are using to steal money. On can okay, first let's start. 
They will just announce that uh, the federal, uh, the N NPC didn't remit any money because they use it to pay for subsidy. Can you imagine that? How can you just say a, a company, all the money they generate, uses it to pay for subsidy? Then that, let's allow the subsidy to go so that when the country generates money, which you know how much and what they spend for what, instead of this, oh, uh, the, the yeah, my, Nigerian Prince. I mean, Nigerian yes. uh, first. There is one area which I kind of find interesting, right? In in Kenya, our food is not subsidized. I, I believe Nigerian food is up. There's no way Nigerian food is that cheap that with one dollar you can have like one really nice big meal. In, in Kenya, it's gonna cost you three or four dollars for like a nice meal. I, I do believe your food sector, your your rice is way too cheap, uh, below market value. So th there is some things which I do think it's a little bit. Uh, well, uh, well, because of they produce rice now. They produce a lot of rice in Ebony. They produce rice in the uh, mm -hmm. in where uh, in Ogun State. They have the Ofada rice. They produce all those rice. So, so you can expect uh, uh, food. And also Nigeria is a, uh, as much as it's meant, uh, it's not like the major uh, foreign exchange now. But still, the a lot of people are into a kind of medium and small farming. So you find out that you find out that a lot of people will still get. Um, and you know, there a lot of their food are based on um, vegetables, yeah, and fish because there's so much water in Nigeria. So you can food it depends on the environment also. Food is. Um, See, just like for example okay. in uganda in uganda i think there's that uh, uh, also the thing of food being cheap really cheap there there's no subsidization yeah, it's cheaper than Kenya. see yeah. uh Kezo, Kezo, what i want nigerians to do nigeria cities to do is that the nigeria minimum wage need to be renegotiated across board okay if if we want it to be fifty thousand naira or hundred thousand naira both private and whatever public sector let's make it like that so that then we move subsidy let's allow a we practice capitalism let's allow hold on sir let's allow capital hold on sir let's allow capitalism to play this 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 uh its course instead of we let's do this do this and the citizen you are doing it for they they are the one to badmouth you later and say, Oh, the country which, is which, the country which is subsidy are you talking about? Which is, one do you want them to remove? Which one is it petrol? Okay, let, let me ask you, sir. You went to school, you I guess we are educated in Nigeria. How much did you pay all through the maybe the five year course you took or let's say four years? How much? I guess uh, hundred thousand or three hundred thousand to nothing. You see, <laughs> why are you but, asking me? Asking but your mates, your mates, your mates in America are <laughs> owing. Oh, hold on, you your mates in America. Answering the question for me. Your mates in America are owing three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars in student loans. So you're asking question. You're answering. Well, me, I attended private school all through my life, by the way. Including I mean, so that's a, that's a loaded. No, oh, it's not about being loaded. And if we're loaded and I'm talking like this, then you should know I should be in your position looking for a no 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 for hey, no 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 by the way. No, no, no. Let me make this clear to you, oh. by the way. I'm not rich, I'm just speaking from uh, capitalism uh, position here. I'm not rich so at you, all. So you think American uh, citizens do not hold their governments accountable for things that are not uh, in, in America? I don't know the ones talking about uh, roads that need that the, the people are really talking about how Joe Biden needs to do a lot of uh, re, is it uh, you know what's it called a lot of reconstructions and uh, whatever 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 so so it's everywhere once you are in that position you have to do play your part you have to do nobody is asking you to go and. Uh, you uh, 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 start a business for the citizens. They are telling you to create the enabling environment, not just in terms of infrastructure is part of it. And they're also talking about uh, the 
uh, the taxations and every other thing that every the process the process of doing business has to be straightforward and open so that nobody can you know if you have a corrupt system somebody can come right now and uh, even take over the land that you have uh, you've actually uh, bought to to build your business because of a corrupt system somebody who can come the next uh, day and tell you that this land where did you pay we we paid uh, these other people and these people are the real people to authorize so all that is part of the environment that, was, that needs to be you know needs to be conducive the thing is that and the number one thing if you ask me the major thing which i don't get that these people cannot do the same country that gives niger Benin Republic, is it uh, uh, Ghana, electricity, and you can't have a stable, no, what, what kind of witchcraft is that? Then, you, you, the, 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 all Nigeria, you can't have a Okay, stable, you know why? Okay, you know why? Yeah? The sector needs a very large investment. And if you don't make the sector attractive and viable, that investment will not come because for you to actually make uh, the whole country prepare or yes prepare 